Hello friends, this video on water part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we learned that uh, there are various sources of water out of which oceans are one of the primary sources which provide water for our day to day activities. Now water is also released into the atmosphere from plants. So let's see how. Now plants, they need water for their survival again. So from where do they get water? They get water from the soil. Now, how do you take care of the plants in your garden? So your garden might have big, big trees, it might have small plants. If you want them to be alive, what do you do? You put, you water them regularly. So how do you water a plant? So when we water the plants, we tend to put a lot of water to the soil. You know why? Because plants take that water from the soil. That's the job of the roots of the plant. So they help to absorb the water from the soil. Minerals which are also dissolved with water enters the roots of the plants. And then from there, the stem carries all the water and minerals to different parts of the plant. So that's how plants receive water from the soil. Now why do plants need water? They need water for photosynthesis. We have learned about photosynthesis. It is the process by which plants prepare their own food in presence of light. What do they do? During this process, carbon dioxide and water, they combine together to form food in the form of glucose. So this is the food and oxygen is released during the process. So for photosynthesis to happen, plants need water. So that is uh, one need for the plants. Now the question is, what happens to the excess water that remains within the plant? So sometimes it might happen that okay, the plants used some used up some amount of water, but there is some water which is present in excess in the plant because having the right amount of water within any living organism is a must. You cannot have excess amount of water. You cannot have insufficient amount of water. So what will the plants do with that excess of water? So that excess of water is released out through the leaves of the plant. And where is the water released out? So the water is released out to the atmosphere. And how is it released out? Again, that water which is released out to the atmosphere is again, it is again goes to the atmosphere in the form of water vapor. So this is the process which is called transpiration. So transpiration is the loss of water from leaves of plants by evaporation. So here also the leaves of the plant which are exposed to the atmosphere, which are exposed to the warm surrounding air. So there whatever water is present, so they start evaporating. So the liquid water gets converted to water vapor. And this process is called transpiration. Now how water is released from the leaves of the plants? So the leaves contain very uh, tiny pores which are called stomata. So we will talk about stomata a little later. So here we see that water is released as water vapor to the atmosphere. So this is important. So what you have in the surrounding area is water vapor. So you see, there are a lot of things on this earth which contribute in adding water vapor to the atmosphere. One thing that we learned about is the oceans. So by evaporation of the water from the oceans, a lot of water vapor is coming to the atmosphere. Again, by the process of transpiration, a lot of water vapor is coming to the atmosphere from plants. Now, there are many advantages associated with transpiration. First thing is, water is being pulled up from below due to transpiration pull. So that, that's very true. That's because when the water in the upper surface of the leaves, they move out. So, vacancy gets created on the upper surface. So, what happens? Water from the inner leaves are pulled above. Similarly, the same pull exists and finally that pull allows the roots to take up water from the soil. So this entire pull effect is called transpiration pull. And because of this transpiration pull, the roots are able to absorb water from the soil. Because, you know, it, 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 it needs a lot of force to, be, to do something against gravity. So when you throw an apple, what happens? The apple falls towards the ground. So the apple falls in the downward direction. But if you want that object to move in the upward direction, you really need to apply some extra force. 
and that extra force here is being created by this transpiration pull because of the process of transpiration the water is being uh, always pulled in the upward direction so as a result the roots also fetch in water from the soil so that is the most important advantage of the process of transpiration secondly it cools the plants in hot weather so have you ever seen that during summer season you don't uh, feel like drinking hot water so what you often do is for those who cannot afford a refrigerator what they do is they take an earthen pot and start storing water in there and you will see it for yourself that the water inside that mud pot is a lot cooler than that of the normal water so how does that happen that happens because that earthen pot it contains a lot of tiny pores over it so due to the presence of those pores tiny droplets of water always tend to come out of those pores so they create a cool surface on that earthen pot which results in cooling of the water inside the pot so the same thing happens here here also those pores are present on the leaves and the pores which are present on the leaves those pores are called stomata so this process of transpiration happens through these pores through these openings only the water is lost now these pores all the time since water is coming out of them so they kind of create a, a cool ambience so the entire plant is cool during hot weather so that helps the plant to adapt to hot weather or to overcome the high temperatures during summer season so these are the two important advantages of transpiration thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.